Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to practice using the quadratic formula. Before we dive in, we're going to cover some vocabulary, look at the different cases, and then we're going to jump in and do lots of examples. So let's start with this. We've got a function f of x equal x squared plus x minus 6, right? So we have a quadratic function here. And so the following are equivalent. Solve x squared plus x minus 6 equals 0, right? So what are the x values that you plug in to get 0? B, find the x-intercepts of f of x. Find the zeros of f of x. Or find the roots of this quadratic equals 0. So all of these mean the same thing. And you'll run into this in your math journey. Sometimes it'll be said this way, sometimes it'll be said that way. And so just so you know, these are all equivalent. So quadratic formula, what is that? If we have a quadratic equals 0, right? So a, b, and c are real numbers. For example, 3x squared plus 2x plus c equals 0, something like that then in order to find out what the values are that you plug in to get 0, right, to solve it, all you have to do is plug in a, b, and c into this formula, and it gives you the answer. So this is a wonderful thing. All you have to do is plug in a, b, and c like that, and you are given the answers at, as to what numbers do you plug in to get 0. And so this is something you want to ask your teacher. Do you have to know the quadratic formula by heart? In later years, you might need to know it by heart. But right now, in pre-calc 11, ask your teacher if this is going to be given to you or not. Okay, let's look at some cases. So this chunk here, b squared minus 4ac, this is called the discriminant. And this tells us about the different... Uh, types of solutions we can have. So what do I mean by that? So if b squared minus 4ac, if this is greater than 0, then we have two solutions. We have minus b plus this value, and then we have minus b minus that value like that. And so we have two solutions. And so when you read this quadratic formula, this is how you read it. Negative b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac all of that divided by 2a, like that. So if this little section here is greater than 0, then we have two solutions. If it is equal to 0, b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, then you have plus or minus 0, and the only thing that's remaining is minus b over 2a, like that, which is one solution. And then the other possibility is if we have b squared minus 4ac being less than 0. If it's less than 0, then we have the square root of a negative, and we can't have that. Therefore, there's no real solution. And so once again, b squared minus 4ac is called the discriminant. Okay, so time for some examples. Let's use the quadratic formula, getting used to using it. So example one, solve using the quadratic formula. So here's our equation here. We write down the quadratic formula as such. Plug in b here, b is one, so we have negative one like that. One squared, four ac, so four, a is one, c is negative six. So be careful, make sure that you include the negative there. Think of it as plus negative six if you want to. And so that's our c value, negative six like that. So we punch that in on our calculator or you can do it in your mind, that's fine too. We get negative one plus or minus root 25 over two like that. So we have negative one plus or minus five over two. And so we have two possibilities. We have negative 1 plus 5 or negative 1 minus 5, like that. So first possibility gives us x equal 2. Second possibility gives x equals negative 3. And if this is a test, I highly recommend that you check your answers. How do we do that? So x equals 2. This means that if you plug in 2 as x value, you should get 0. Right? I'll do the first one with you. 2 squared is 4 plus 2 gives 6, minus 6 equals 0. So x equals 2 is a solution to this equation like that. And I'll leave it to you as an exercise to check the remainder in this lesson. Okay, b. 
x squared plus 3x minus 4. So we have negative b, so negative 3 like that. b squared, 3 squared like that. Minus 4ac, so 1 for a, negative 4 for c like that. This gives us negative 3 plus or minus root 25 over 2 like that. So we have two solutions, negative 3 plus 5 over 2 or negative 3 minus 5 over 2. So our first solution, x equals 1. Second solution, x equals negative 4. Okay, so more examples, lots of examples. So C, 2x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0, like that. Negative b, so b here is negative 1, so we have minus negative 1 like that. Negative 1 is being squared, minus 4a2, c negative 6 like that, which gives root 49, which gives us plus or minus 7 like that. So 1 plus 7 over 4 gives 2, 1 minus 7 over 4 gives negative 6 over 4, which reduces to negative 3 over 2 like that. So we have two solutions. One is an integer, and the other one is a fraction. D. 20x squared plus 3x minus 2 equals 0 like that. Negative b minus 3 like that. b squared is 3 squared like that. Minus 4a, 20. c, negative 2 like that. Root 169, which gives 13 like that. So we have minus 3 plus 13 over 40 and minus 3 minus 13 over 40 like that, which reduces to a quarter and negative 2 over 5. Okay, E. 1x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals 0. Plug that in like that. This gives us plus or minus root 0. So we can have plus zero or minus zero. They both give the same thing. So we have one solution, six over two, which gives three. Okay, next problem, x squared plus four equals zero. You can rewrite this as x squared plus zero x plus four equals zero. So our b here is zero. So we're gonna plug in our b value here as zero like that. A is 1, C is 4, like that. And this gives us plus or minus root negative 16. We can't have square root of negative 16 in real numbers. Therefore, there is no solution. G, x squared plus 3x minus 5 equals 0. So we plug in the values into our quadratic formula. We get negative 3 plus or minus root 29 over 2, like that. This does not reduce, so our first number is negative 3 plus root 29 over 2, and then negative 3 minus root 29 over 2, like that. Right? You can punch that in your calculator to get a decimal value if you want, but these are exact solutions. Okay, time for you guys to do some practice. Okay, so practice number one. Solve using the quadratic formula. So A, B, C, D, E, F. Go ahead and pause the video and solve these using the quadratic formula. Okay, we're back. A, x squared plus x minus 12 equals 0. We plug that in. We get minus 1 plus or minus root 49 over 2 which gives us negative 1 plus 7 over 2, which gives 3. And we have negative 1 minus 7 over 2, which gives negative 4. B. x squared minus 12x plus 35. We plug in our b as negative 12, and our c is 35, a is 1. This gives us 12 plus 2 over 2, which is 7, or... 12 minus 2 over 2, which gives 5 like that. So we have two solutions in this case. C. 2x squared minus 9x plus 4 equals 0. So plug in A as 2, plug in B as negative 9, and plug in C as 4. 
This gives us two possibilities here, four and one over two like that. D, x squared plus eight x plus 16 equals zero. A is one, B is eight, and C is 16. We plug it in, we have plus or minus root zero, which is the same as plus or minus zero. So there's only one solution, negative eight over two, which gives negative four as such. Okay, E, minus x squared minus three equals zero. This is, can be rewritten as minus x squared plus zero x minus three equals zero like that. So our A is negative one, our B is zero, and our C is negative three like that. We get plus or minus root negative 12. You cannot have root of a negative in the real number system. And so we have no solution. Okay, F. Negative x squared plus 3x plus 6 equals 0. Plug all that in and we get minus 3 plus or minus root 33 over negative 2. So we have negative 3 plus root 33 and then we have negative 3 minus root 33. And here we can factor out the negative 1 and it cancels from the bottom and the top which gives us 3 plus root 33 over 2. And that's it. It's that easy. I'll see you guys in the next video.